Hey everybody, Scott here for the Helix channel. It's Thursday and today another free set for you because that's what I'm up to these days. What do I have better to do, you know? I mean, I could sleep in, but I don't. I uh, I get up early and I go to physical therapy and then uh, he beats the shit out of my arm for about an hour. I do some exercises, come home, sit around, try and think of fun things for you guys. Today, I'm starting a new uh, series of fun free sets called Dooley's. It's a pair of amps, and uh, you can use two amp models at the same time into one IR or into two IRs if you wanted to, but you would sacrifice four blocks for that. I'm using three, uh, two amp blocks and an IR block. Uh, I've also got an overdrive in front of it, and these are... Uh, Crunchy, heavy stuff. I showed. I told you I was going to use the uh, PV Panama, so I found the PV Panama, or I used the PV Panama, and then found an amp model that goes with it because all the amps, not all the amps, I should say, go together well and blend well. You got to sort of pick and choose. Some of them sound literally out of phase. Uh, so I found an amp that sounds good with it and complements it, and then I'll show you how I did it. Play some sounds. You know what's up. Hmm? Alrighty, here we are at the HX stomp. I'm using my usual gate, but for the threshold a little bit higher because we're dealing with a little bit more gain. And uh, same old setting there. Kinky boost is the boost in front. And some things change when you uh, press the individual snapshots. There are three snapshots, crunch, crunchier, and then solo. Now when we go to the, uh, I'm on the crunch, now we go to the crunchier, you just get more gain. Then when we go to the, uh, the solo, more drive, boost turns on, bright turns off. So, you know, things like that happen. Kind of stuff that I really love to happen when, uh, when I go to a lead. Uh, the amps are the PV Panama. And the Line 6 Badonk. Interestingly, uh, and I sadly I can't demo this because I already uh, shot my guitar bits, but uh, what's going on and the reason for the two amps is the uh, the PV Panama has a lot of brightness and uh, upper mid-range punch to it, and the Badonk has a bunch more bottom end and just girth to it. And the two combined add up to one really cool sound. So, you know, the amp is set accordingly, or thusly, I should say, uh, for the uh, crunch snapshot. And things change, you know, when I go to the other one. The bias uh, actually turns up on the uh, lead only, but uh, other stuff, you know, will turn up. Well, the master will go up from the two to the lead, blah, blah, blah. You know, the usual kind of stuff. Uh, the badonk settings are like so. And the uh, the master and the uh, bias also increase as you go into the snapshots uh, two and three. Uh, I'm using my IR, of course, blah blah blah, and those the settings in that change as well because uh, the bottom one when there's less gain it needs more low end, so I've dialed down the low cut, and then I'm removing a tiny bit because the amount of girth adds up as you add, increase the gain and the master. So and then when we get to the uh, the solo, I pull down even more. So double tank again. Whoopsie, I'm hitting shit. Uh, I just liked it. It was a fun one to uh, to mess around with yesterday. And then oh, a compressor at the end. And the compressor is doing the usual compression stuff that I like. And that is uh, as I go up in the gain uh, on the snapshots and then up into the lead, the gain goes up. And then so does the emphasis. And the mix. Would you like to hear it? Thank you. 
have it, everybody. Good time, duly free set fun. I'll be back tomorrow with another duly free set. Why not? And uh, don't forget, drop me a line. I'll send these out to you, including the IR. It's just a single IR, the one that I have made from that uh, Marshall 412 that's sitting over there. <laughs> Hi. Doesn't wave back. And he got no arms. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. So, you know, y'all be cool. Stay safe. Stay home if you can. Wear a mask when you go out into public and you're going to be around other people. Don't be a dick. And flaunt your fucking libertarianism bullshit. Just be cool until this blows over. Then go back to being a dick. Then it's totally cool. Totally cool to be a dick then. You know, for you, not me. It's fine. Anyway, I, uh, I'm ordering a bunch of gear online. So I'm trying to get back to making easier to edit videos. Right now I've got a little Zoom H4n right here and I've got to take that audio, put it into my computer, edit it, upload it to the uh, to my iTunes, then put it in my phone and there's a whole bunch of hassles and I want to be able to go directly into my camera. So I'm thinking about upgrading the camera to an iPad mini uh, and getting a uh, one of a couple of different uh, preamp, not really preamps, but uh, audio interfaces that can take a guitar and a lavalier mic into it and then directly into an iPad. So the audio will automatically sync, which is a really slick thing that uh, the camera does on the iPhone. Love that feature. I miss it because I have to sync by hand. I gotta scrub the audio and uh, it's, uh, no. this is a lot of work, man. So I'm gonna try and make things easier on myself. It's gonna cost a little bit, but not what the fuck do I have better to do? I keep saying that. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. And until then, rock on.